The County Board of Education has five new faces heading into the new year, including three new appointees. Yes, exciting times. I talked to one person who is excited to get started. What's best for the kids, that's what everybody wants. Parents want their kids to have a good education. We live in Viana, which is in Dooley County, but yes, we send our kids to Chris County School System. Viana resident John Shearer, he's no different. Chris County School System has got a much better rating as far as the academics go in the state and test scores. He made the best choice for his family, which didn't include sending his kids to Dooley County Schools. So what's more important to, to do what's easier for us, which is would be to send them here to school where we already pay school taxes and all that, and they're right here close to the house, based, or you can send them to Chris County School System with a much better ratings. It's up to the new members of the Dooley County Board of Education, like Michael Bowens, to make the system better. All the things that were going on and the the publicity around, the negative publicity that was uh, around uh, our school system and uh, I was, uh, uh, I just was anxious to, 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 uh, to, to help in any way I could. He's one of the three new appointed members Governor Deal put in place after the state said the last board was ineffective. Uh, th those group dynamics that, that we'll go through, the, the forming and storming and performing stages, uh, we, we'll go through those and just we ask them to be patient. Cher is interested to see what's going to happen. Me and my wife would even consider sending our, our children here if we could see an improvement in the academics and school system. Well, if you'd like to see more about the problems the former Dooley County Board faced, we have a link to that story on our website, 41NBC.com. The new board is going to meet for the first time January the 19th.